What is going on guys? My name is Metal. I welcome to another um, 3DS homebrew guide. In this 3DS homebrew guide, I'm going to show you how to basically play Game Boy, Game Boy Colors, and Game Boy Advance games onto your homebrew channel. Now, basically, if you don't have the homebrew channel, um, I'll put the link in the description or the annotation right around here. Um, basically telling you how to get homebrew channel is very easy you use sound hacks and if you've done that you're basically got the uh, Game Boy Advance emulator installed onto your 3DS right away because the starter kit comes with the Game Boy Advance emulator so I made a phony um, folder pretending that it's my um, 3DS 3DS is SD card. Uh, your SD card may be in the slots right here, but um, I'm too lazy to hook up my 3DS to my computer, so this has to do right now. So in the 3DS folder, you'll see that there's a file called MGBA. That is the emulator itself. So let's get back to it, to the root of your SD card. So what you need to do is actually right click and click new folder, and you need to type in Game Boy games okay this is the game boy games file i have or you can rename it to um mgba whatever folder you want you can rename the folder whenever you want to put your roms in and stuff and like that so after that we're gonna put the rom inside of the um folder now by the way i am not gonna tell you where to get these roms because it is highly illegal to basically play these games um games that you don't own so i'm using this as backup purposes only so i have a dragon ball advanced adventure so i'm going to drag it into my sd card and you just got your rom right here so um it's easy to, it's easier to find roms online all you have to do is look it up on google game boy vance roms r-o-m-s there's a lot of websites that do that make sure to find your backup the games you want to back up and put it into your sd card and then you're pretty much done and i'm going to go back to my 3ds and show you guys what it looks like okay here's the homebrew channel and as you can see this is the MGBA emulator you're supposed to use. It's a Game Boy Advance emulator. I'm going to press A on it. Uh, bright colors will pop up. That's normal. And then you get this right here. Oh, God damn it. I'm sorry. It's that I'm trying to autofocus and it won't let me. But anyways, you need to find that um, folder that... Uh, oh, it's already focused. Um, that uh, contains your... Um, Game Boy Events games and GBA games. Um, GBA, Game Boy Colors, and Game Boy Col Game Boy and original Game Boy games work fine with this. So I'm going to start this. By the way, some games are laggy and some games have audio pops. That's normal. It's nothing's wrong with the emulator. It's just that's the way it works. So let's try Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. Press A. It's going to run. And there it is. And it works perfectly fine. It shows the frame rate in bottom. Now, um, you press X, and it comes up with options. You can exit game, restart game. So you can take screenshots, and you can do all this other stuff. So I'm going to unpause it right now. I'll show you if it really works. Okay, MRL stands for Matter Alive. Now I'm scroll up or down. If you want to change the screen size, you press the Y button. And you can have it in the bottom. You can have it stretched out on top. Like this. Pretty, it works fine. Just press the Y button. So yeah. I hope you like this video, guys. That's how you get the Game Boy Events emulator working onto your uh, 3DS. It also works with Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. So please come here and subscribe. We're going to be bitching.